Hi, my name is Kambi's Mosavizade, and I want to speak about who was the greatest pound for pound boxer of all time, right? And this is purely opinion, and everyone has their own opinion and is entitled to their own opinion. This is my opinion on who I believe is the greatest boxer of all time. Now, you have to make your own decision. Some people will say Vasily Lomachenko. Some people will say Muhammad Ali. Some people will say Jack Dempsey. Some people will say Rocky Marciano. <clears throat> it's really an opinion, right? My opinion is that the greatest pound for pound boxer of all time. is Prince Nassim Hamed and if you've ever watched Nassim Hamed fight that you know then he's one of the most exciting boxers to have ever done it he did lose once and it was just his only single loss and that's because he wasn't on top of his game in that fight. But for the era that he dominated boxing, he really was at the top of his game. And he made boxing exciting to watch. That's why, that's why people go to boxing matches for excitement right if they want to get bored they'll go to a baseball game they go to boxing matches to watch the sweet science of boxing to watch pugilism to watch the drama that unfolds in the ring as two boxers step in and give everything they got and Nassim Hamed gave everything he had when he got in that ring. Even before he got in the ring. The showmanship. The theatrical nature of Nassim Hamed was every time you saw him, he was putting on a show for you. He was a showman. And he loved being a showman he loved thrilling the crowd he loved putting on a grand entrance was he the strongest boxer no but I think he was the fastest boxer. And speed creates power. Speed creates strength. So he was exciting to watch. He thrilled the crowds. He made people want to watch his fights. He made people excited to see him. Because he put on a show. He was not boring. He was not playing defensive boxing for 12 rounds. He was non-stop attacking Nassim Hamed. He was just non-stop attacking and putting on a show and thrilling the crowd and getting everyone excited about boxing. That's what he had done. He made everyone excited about boxing right it's not exciting to go you know you pay hundreds of, hundreds of dollars sometimes thousands of dollars to get a good ticket at a boxing match and then you watch 12 rounds of defensive boxing well that's going to get you pretty tired it's going to be boring you want to see excitement People want to see offense. People want to see the boxers attacking each other, hitting each other, non-stop.
until one goes down. And Nassim Hamed brought that. He brought that showmanship. He brought that excitement. He, he brought that theatricality. He brought that fun back into boxing. He made boxing fun. He would uh, do a flip into the ring and then run around the ring one time just as his ring entrance. When he would exit the dressing room, he would come out on a throne being carried by multiple people. He had the theatricality. He had the excitement. He brought the showmanship. He made people excited to watch his fights. He made people excited to be around him. They love Nassim Hamid in the UK. When he walks, people run after him in the street trying to get his autograph. That's Nassim Hamed. He was a world champion. And his press conference his press conferences were fun to watch because he would go at go at his opponent. And you know what he was saying was was tongue in cheek. He was there wasn't any malice there. He wasn't trying to really hurt his opponent, but he was, he was bringing the, uh, you know, the theatricality. He was, he was, he was, he was drumming up excitement for a fight. And, um, that's, that's just part of his showmanship. That's part of his nature. You know, he, he was, uh, definitely a trailblazer for his era. And in my opinion, one of the greatest pound-for-pound pound boxers of all time. Because he wasn't boring to watch. Okay, he had one loss. Muhammad Ali also had a loss. Right? Or a few. So, it's not... That doesn't discount anyone from be, being the greatest pound-for-pound pound boxer of all time. Because everyone makes mistakes. Right? So, Nassim Hamed brought that showmanship. He brought that excitement. He brought that fun back to boxing. He made people want to buy tickets and sit ringside and watch him. Because he was so exciting. He made the world of boxing, the entire boxing world. We're like, who, who is this? that moves like this. And he came from an acrobatic background, so he had great athletic skill. And he would show that in the ring. You know, people don't understand that times that boxing is a business. Okay? Boxing is a huge multi-billion dollar business. It doesn't matter if your boxing is, if your boxer is ten thousand and zero. He's won ten thousand times. He's lost zero times. If that boxer is boring to watch because they're a defensive boxer standing in a defensive posture for thirty six minutes, then that fight's going to be boring to watch. People go to boxing matches to be excited. That's why they're paying this you know, hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars per ticket is not to be bored, right? They can be bored at home. So Nassim Hamed was an offensive boxer who was completely attacking the whole time and having fun with his opponent. Dancing around them, jabbing in, jabbing out. I mean, he was just great. There was no boxer like him that's ever done it like he's done it. And, and that's why, in my opinion, you know, I, you know, I look at all the boxers. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Tyson Fury, Terrence Crawford. When I look at all these different boxers throughout history, 
For me, it's Nassim Hamed as being the greatest pound-for-pound -pound boxer of all time. And that's what it is. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.